we come out the tour, we can tell Okay, so for those of you out of the loop, former Dallas Cowboys wide receiver and NFL analyst Michael Irvin was in some hot water a month ago during the festivities leading up to the Super Bowl. Allegations of sexual misconduct towards a female employee at the Marriott forced the network to remove Irvin from its coverage at Super Bowl 57 in February. That said, the hotel chain has refused to release the video to Irvin's team of lawyers and to be honest, I'm not sure why. The playmaker has filed a $100 million defamation lawsuit against the accuser Marriott International for alleging that a false misconduct claim caused him to be kicked out of the Renaissance Phoenix Downtown Hotel and from the Super Bowl coverage. Anyways, here's a video clip of what one of the witnesses says happened and Michael's reaction to this whole ordeal. He, a woman had come around the corner, kind of met Michael at the corner. They had, they had a very brief interaction that was, you know, super, you know, friendly, lots of laughter. And Michael went back to his room. I went back to my seat. And two days later, I, I read about the story that we're talking about now. Um, at any point in time, did you see anything that caused you concern, you thought was inappropriate? Uh, Mr. Herbert should have done that, just done toward. Did you see anything like that? It's frozen Zoom. He is in Europe. <clears throat> um, guys, if he comes back, I'll do it. Uh, other than that, I think that concludes our press conference. Um, these gentlemen have offered to take questions if you want to. We're not going to take questions based on the fact that we still have this current lawsuit going on. So I appreciate everybody showing up today. Let me say this. Okay. You know, because, because I kind of just listening to, to Bill talk. Because I'm struggling, this is what I struggle with, you know, you try to, and we try to be an ambassador of the league and also understand that God has blessed me and, and given me a platform and try to touch people, try to raise people, try to lift people up. I, and, and, and I don't know, I met a lot of fans, but I've always tried to be good with people. You know, I'm struggling now saying, do I determine, do I not talk to people? What do I do, you know, because of this kind of a situation, I know I didn't do anything wrong. I know I didn't do anything trying to do everything right. So it's just, you know, though, though, though I say that, I got to come back to this moment. Had I not said to these guys, you know what, you cool guys, let's go outside and take that picture, you know, then they wouldn't have been right there with me. And that would have been a moment that I've had alone. And I know nobody's going to listen to what I say. Nobody, still, at least Mary, I don't want to hear what we have to say. Don't want to hear what I have to say. Don't, want to, don't even care to share. So, you know, I just got emotional thinking about it because I'm struggling with that on what to do moving forward after I deal with all of this. That, that's all I want to say.